huge liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. Uh, it has already uncovered thousands of these very early luminous objects. Only in the first few weeks, there's going to be a lot more discoveries to come. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Since its launch in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been a master of discovery, surpassing expectations in its relatively brief operational span of less than two years. In this time, it has not only demonstrated its technical prowess, but has unfurled a tapestry of cosmic revelations that challenge our understanding of the universe. From the outset, the James Webb Space Telescope set out to explore the vast expanses of the cosmos, with a specific mission to unravel the mysteries surrounding the formation of the early universe and to scrutinize the atmospheres of nearby exoplanets. The ultimate goal was to detect biosignatures, indicators of biological life, and technosignatures, chemical signals that might be produced by an advanced alien civilization. Despite the lofty ambitions, doubts persisted regarding the telescope's ability to achieve these audacious objectives. To put the instrument to the test, scientists embarked on a recent study simulating observations of Earth, the only known habitable and inhabited planet. The study involved intentionally altering data obtained from Earth's atmosphere to mimic observations from a considerable distance. Employing a computer model, researchers then repositioned the James Webb Space Telescope's sensor capabilities to assess its potential to detect key biosignatures, such as methane and oxygen, produced by biological life, and technosignatures like nitrogen dioxide and chlorofluorocarbons. The results, to everyone's astonishment, indicated that the telescope could potentially discern signs of life or alien civilizations within a remarkable range of 40 to 50 light years from Earth. The excitement escalated when researchers identified an exoplanet named K218b situated approximately 120 light years away from our solar system. This distant celestial body, characterized by a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a liquid water ocean, exhibited intriguing features during observation. The James Webb Space Telescope detected carbon dioxide and methane, and what elevated the excitement was the identification of dimethyl sulfide, a molecule found on Earth and produced as a byproduct of life, particularly by microscopic plant-like organisms known as phytoplankton in marine environments. The discovery of dimethyl sulfide on K218b marked a potential biosignature, a feature never before detected on an exoplanet. While scientists eagerly await additional data to confirm the presence of dimethyl sulfide on this distant world, these findings challenge previous assumptions and broaden the scope of potential candidates for extraterrestrial life beyond rocky planets. Looking ahead, scientists anticipate discovering whether substantial amounts of dimethyl sulfide exist on K218b. However, even with this promising lead, certainty about the presence of life on this high-sea exoplanet remains elusive. Biosignatures present a unique set of challenges. They are primarily studied based on our knowledge of Earth's environment, and their origins may extend beyond the realms of living organisms. Consider oxygen, for instance. While on Earth it is predominantly produced through photosynthesis by plants and algae, it can also be derived from geological or non-biological processes. What remains certain is that humanity is making remarkable progress in the quest for signs of alien life. The journey began with a focus on finding planets similar in size to Earth, expanded to include the habitability zone allowing for liquid water, and has now delved deeper into studying the chemical composition of exoplanets. Even at this stage of technological advancement, we can detect biosignatures on alien worlds through a technique known as atmospheric spectroscopy. While scientists continue to uncover new ways to detect biomarkers on exoplanets, some methods that have the potential to provide insights into how alien life forms might appear. In a recent study, scientists delved into the Archean era of Earth, home to various early life forms, including purple bacteria. Models were created to explore how the widespread existence of such organisms might influence the appearance of Earth from a distance. 
Simulations considered variables such as the abundance and distribution of bacteria in both aquatic and terrestrial environments, as well as the presence and density of clouds in the atmosphere during the observation period. The results of this study were nothing short of thrilling. Purple bacteria with their unique light-reflecting properties could potentially be detected on exoplanets with specific optical filters. This revelation opens up new possibilities for understanding the diversity of life beyond our planet. Amidst these groundbreaking discoveries, the James Webb Space Telescope has not limited its gaze solely to the search for extraterrestrial life. The telescope has contributed significantly to reshaping our understanding of the fundamental forces governing the universe. Our universe, characterized by the perpetual dance of expansion and gravity's unyielding pull, has presented a paradox. Instead of slowing down, as initially believed, the universe's expansion is accelerating. This unexpected phenomenon prompted scientists to explore the existence of two mysterious entities, dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, constituting approximately 27% of the total universe, operates as an imperceptible substance that plays a vital role in maintaining the cohesion of galaxies and clusters. Despite its lack of interaction with ordinary matter and the absence of light emission, scientists can analyze its presence through gravitational effects. Conversely, dark energy, a perplexing phenomenon comprising about 68% of the universe, is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the cosmos. Although invisible and intangible, its existence is inferred through meticulous measurements involving cosmic background radiation and the overall structure of the universe. Recent developments in astrophysics may have altered the previous dearth of concrete evidence for the existence of dark matter and dark energy. Traditionally, stars, including our Sun, operate through nuclear fusion at their cores. This process involves the fusion of lighter elements like hydrogen to form heavier elements, primarily helium, releasing energy in the form of light and heat. However, a groundbreaking possibility has emerged – a potential alternative energy source for stars – dark matter. More precisely, the heat generated during the annihilation of dark matter. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced, deep extragalactic survey capabilities, peers into the remotest corners of the universe, offering a glimpse into the past. Given the significant differences between the early universe and its current state, peculiar celestial bodies, such as stars thousands of times more massive than contemporary ones, might have formed during that epoch. These cosmic anomalies challenge our existing understanding of stellar evolution and cosmic dynamics. The recent surge of intriguing discoveries raises more questions than answers underscoring the complexity of the universe and the enigmatic interplay of its fundamental forces. As we continue to unlock the secrets of the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope remains at the forefront, poised to reveal even more about the mysteries that lie beyond our comprehension. In closing, we invite our viewers to ponder the future possibilities. Do you believe that the James Webb Space Telescope will ultimately detect an alien civilization? And if so, how might such a discovery reshape our understanding of life on Earth? Share your thoughts and speculations in the comments below. The cosmic journey continues, and we look forward to unraveling more celestial wonders together.